So I'm delighted this morning to be with Puragesh Sivanesan from Totem Finance. Puragesh is chairing the Property Development Summit, which is almost full. Maybe when you are watching this video, it is full. So if you are thinking of coming along to the Property Development Summit, I would strongly recommend you book. You don't hang on. I'm not expecting tickets to be available at the door. Look, um, Puragesh is involved in my events, not just for Saturday. So if you're thinking, look, we'd love to come along on Saturday, we're on the, you know, sitting on the fence, maybe, maybe not. As I say, it is almost full. That doesn't mean you won't see Puragesh again. Puragesh is at my monthly meets, my Central London Property Morning meets. Um, Puragesh, the, the, the video, I just want to focus on two things. Briefly, the panel on Saturday. So um, some of the questions you, you may have for the panel and your thoughts about the day as well. Second thing is about the 2nd of February and, and quarter, quarter one and and maybe we could cover Brexit, but Brexit would be, um, you understand. Let, let's uh, see how the MPs vote on that one today. Okay, okay. So is it today? I, I saw a newspaper article, I don't know whether it is, to be honest, but um, there, there's talk of it being kind of rushed through and presented. Sure. So I, I will try not to interrupt you too, too much, Puragesh. So fire away, it's 28th of January, 100 plus people expected in the room. I've as I say, limited seating, um, that there is an option for you to uh, listen via audio or video at some point after the event. Uh, so that's definitely going to be available. Purikesh, um so your feelings about Saturday, the panel and, and some of the key questions? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I think that you put together a really interesting panel. You know, if I look at, we've got a mixture of um, equity crowd funders. So this is, you know, the, the people uh, at home, the people in uh, in the audience, you know, who are potentially looking at development finance, but thinking, actually, where I really struggle is how much equity I need to put in the deal. Um, you know, we're going to have two crowd funders there, and we're going to be able to learn about how they are uh, opening up really um, uh, more opportunities for developers because the thing uh, about which most developers will tell you is that they're often they're asset rich and they don't have a problem with deals generally it's more that um, it's getting the funding right and ensuring the funding can come in on time so and for me as um, as primarily a debt broker um, the really interesting piece is kind of how the debt uh, interplays with the equity um, the, the the amount of funds that um, developers will will end up putting in so what I call my borrowers um, you know do they put five percent of, of an overall deal three percent over overall deal do they feel that they can perhaps put, put nothing in and um, you know I'll be looking to, uh, to to debate not only can it be done um, but also is it the right thing to do in terms of the different structures um, aside from them we've obviously got some some developers on that panel as well um, which is which is great um, Andrew Featherstone does a lot of stuff outside the M25. Uh, Tim Hodges does a lot of stuff inside the M25. And Nicole Bremner, who's doing everything everywhere. Um, so, you my, know. My, we, most, mostly, though, Hackney, East London, now Brent Cross as well. Absolutely. Stretch out as far as Luton. Absolutely. But I, I you know, I think it'll be really interesting to, to also get the views of the developers, you know, because I know. And I've spoken to some of these guys, some of them believe that actually, you know, <clears throat> the IRR is key, you know, what is the return that we're going to be earning as a result of this financial structure. But there are others that always believe that you should overcapitalize, put more equity into the deal, less debt, because actually equity, while more expensive, is supremely flexible. And, you know, we can then start talking about things like Brexit, you know, um, you know, one of the key things that we're seeing is valuations and monitoring surveyors. You know, these things are starting to, um, in, in what is a difficult environment, the professionals supporting the development finance industry are finding it uh, more challenging to be able to provide a, a figure often. And, um, you know, especially in an environment where ultimately their PI is at risk. Uh, every time they put, put a report, you know, they put their name and their brand forward and um, they are at risk of being sued. So um, all of this kind of interplays in terms of um, this funding panel. Um, so I think I think it's going to be a really interesting panel. I hope, um, and more than anything, you know, anybody that's going to be 
coming from the audience, or they will have some stock questions. This, you know, the, the types of events you uh, create, Brendan, it's really for the people in the room. They've paid good money to be there. They've got some excellent speakers. Um, so really bring your questions, you know. Um, uh, although I'm chairing, I'm quite happy to, to just pass on uh, the questions that, uh, that, that the audience really want to know. So let, let's have a look at the 2nd of February as well. So that's, because you explain it much better than I can, Pirugesh. Um 2nd yeah, of February. I mean yeah. The morning event with Richard Forbes, Anna Harper, and yourself at Central London. So, you know, that unfortunately, um, you know, your room has a capacity, and um, I know you're looking to uh, squeeze in a few more seats, but ultimately, uh, only 100 plus people can, can attend on Saturday. Um, and for those who can't attend the event and perhaps don't want to pick up the audio um, offers and video offers uh, thereafter, you know, um, we'll be discussing development finance again um, at the Central London morning meet. Um, and, you know, uh, I've spoken to Richard Thorpe previously. And, you know, RDT are, um, uh, are a great provider of, of both mayors and equity finance. Uh, you've got Anna Harper, who, uh, along with Stefan, has, uh, with Landmark uh, Projects, are really starting to do a lot uh, in the development space. And, you know, for people who are interested in speaking to them, uh, it'll be another great opportunity to to get really great access to a developer, uh, an equity star funder, and of course um, a broker such as myself. So um, yeah, I, I hope that anybody that can't attend um, this Saturday um, considers coming on the uh, on the second. Pirogesh, uh, I could easily go on and on, but the benefit of having you at the meets is people can meet you live. However, let's say there's some people who may struggle to get into London. How, how can they connect with Totem Finance and yourself? Is there a website, email address, phone number? What, what's the best way? So we're on, we're on, LinkedIn, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Facebook. Um, I can be found on LinkedIn on the Piragash Signation. Totem Finance is probably the easiest, www.totemfinance.com. Brilliant. I look forward to seeing you this coming Saturday. I look forward to seeing many of you as well this coming Saturday. As I say, I don't know when you're listening to this video, there's a possibility when you're listening, it may be sold out. So I'd highly encourage you to book your ticket ASAP. So huge I'm thank you. I'm booking it now. I'm booking it now. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.